Now that Wix has the ability to develop membership websites with little to zero code, it has opened many doors of opportunity for different types of organizations. There is now the ability to customize the login and registration, and even manually approve each new registration request that you receive. But there are some types of businesses that would like to control the registration in a different way. These types of businesses could be educational institutes, private clubs, private organizations, invite only, employee only, private company access, or even offline onboarding, meaning they probably have paper applications where people sign up to join their company or club and then the actual company themselves creates the registration for them. This has many benefits. You're able to control membership credentials, such as the email address used to register. It eliminates unnecessary notifications of people attempting to register to your website. One can easily accomplish a privately controlled registration form with a little bit of code and creativity. I'm Code Queen Ayeli, and I'm going to show you how to make this totally codable. Let's begin by showing you what Wix currently offers. You can configure your membership signup settings using these instructions. If you scroll down, you can see there are two ways that a member can join your website. One is they are automatically approved. The other way is to manually approve each person, meaning they fill out the form, Wix sends you a notification, you physically have to log in to approve each person, and if you set up triggered emails, then Wix will automatically send them a notification stating that they've been approved. At the moment, there is no way to pre-approve a member, meaning entering their information and if they sign in, they're automatically approved based on your pre-approval settings. The way that we're gonna create the solution is actually by combining a dashboard page plus a custom Wix registration code. Dashboard pages were privately introduced to the Wix community in August of 2018. It wasn't until February of 2019 that they got released to the public. I've created over 120 private registration areas using this method, and now I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. So let's begin with the existing Wix login and registration window. In order for this method to work for you, we have to deactivate this, meaning you have to create your own custom login code for your members. Don't worry, we have a tutorial video for that. I'll leave the link down below. Once you create your custom login, it will look something like this. Because we will be creating a private registration area, we want to add some text to explain to the user what steps they should take in order to have an account created for them. In my example, I put, don't have an account? Contact us to create an account. This is just a suggestion. Make sure to turn on the developer mode. And then you're going to go to the plus sign and we're gonna add a brand new page. Select dashboard page. Click on Add Dashboard Page, and now a new blank page has been generated and we're ready to label it. We'll call this one Add a User. If you ever need to go back to your dashboard page to edit it again, instead of going to the plus sign to add a new dashboard page, you'll go to the menu on Pages and look for Dashboard. Click on that and you'll see a list of your dashboard pages. You can pause the video now and create your registration form. If you're an advanced coder, then you're basically done. Just use this page to create your registration code and you've completed the solution for yourself or your client. For everyone else that's following along, let me explain what elements I use to create my form. I have four user input elements. In the settings, I went ahead and made sure that each one is set to the correct type, password, text, or email. I have an input element for first name, last name, email and password. All four of them are marked as required using the same settings icon. I've added three different text elements. One will display if the email already exists in your Wix CRM. Another will display if one of these required input elements are left blank or are invalid. And the last one will appear after you successfully register a new user. Remember to right click open properties panel and relabel the elements to match the code. Open up the code panel at the bottom and paste your registration code. Let me zoom in my code so you can take a look at it a little bit better. At the very top, you'll find all the import lines. First, you'll see the registration button. 
When it is clicked, it will hide any of the visible error messages. Then, it will check to make sure that my four user input elements are valid. The email, password, first name, and last name. If one of those is not valid, it's going to display the bottom error message. If they are all valid, it's going to get every single value and begin registration. If registration is successful, then the success message will show. After three and a half seconds, the success message will disappear. It'll also reset the placeholder and value of each user input element. For example, the email will go back to saying email. The password will go back to saying password, etc. Make sure you have one for each user input element on your page. If you do not want to reset your user input elements and you're going to be typing in the same information over and over, then just remove these lines of code. If there is an error, we're going to catch the error in case the registration does not go through. So we want to display this error. And that's your whole code. You can copy and paste it from the tutorial site and change the IDs to match your user input elements on your page. Once you're done with that, publish your page, hover over settings, and go down to my dashboard. Once your dashboard finishes loading, you'll see that you have a new option on your left side panel. Dashboard, add a user. Add a user is what I labeled my dashboard page inside of the editor. Let me click on that. Now you're able to access your dashboard page right from your Wix dashboard. It's private. The only people that can access these pages are your contributors and your administrators. Let's test it out. It successfully registered my user. Let's try registering the same user again. The email already exists. There you go. Now you have your own controlled, private way of registering members to your website. Be sure to check out my other registration tutorials to learn how to create robust registration forms. If you need additional help customizing your code, feel free to contact me at codequeen.co. Click on the appointments button to check my immediate availability and book a session with me online. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. I'm Code Queen Ayeli, and this was another totally codable moment.